Hey, I'm Laza. And I'm Summer. Welcome back to this week's edition of WTHS. Hey, Laza, did you hear about the synergy show tonight? Oh, yeah. Let's tune in with Lucy and find out who really rules the school. Thanks, Summer and Laza. Let's go take a look behind the curtain. The upcoming home show includes pop songs and even one song in French. Each grade performs a song to showcase their talent as a class. When talking to the freshmen, I found out about their thoughts on their first performance. It was scary at first, but there's a lot of mentors and synergy that make it fun. And I even checked in with some seniors about how they feel about their final home show. Um, it's really fun. I've really tried to take on a leadership position because we have a lot of new people. But it's really been fun. It's challenging, but we work hard. You can come tonight and tomorrow. Doors open at 6 for the $10 entry fee. Back to y'all. Bert, it's cold in here. Yeah, I wish I had a jacket. Did you know that there was a way that you could help others stay warm? Really? How's that? The ninth grade student council is doing a drive to collect clothing items. Let's go check it out. We're doing projects such as uh, coat drive, and uh, we're collecting them, cleaning them, and uh, giving them to people that don't like have jackets. I really regret wishing for this cold weather because now I wish it was hot. Let's go check in with Connor and Alyssa to see what the weather will look like this week. What are you doing? I'm practicing my skiing before the snow comes. Well, you better wait a little while because Friday through Monday the highs are in the low 50s and low in the low 30s. Well, hopefully I'll get the chance with a 40% chance of snow on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then Thursday the temperatures go up a little bit with a high of 46 and a low of 32. Better hold on to those blankets. And don't forget to support the girls basketball team and boys powerlifting team. Now let's take it back to Liza and Summer in the studio. Have you ever heard of HOSA? No, but I know who has. I had a chance to check out their lab. HOSA actually stands for Health Occupation Students of America. Students learn skills such as performing CPR and first aid. A normal day in the class means learning how to deal with everyday situations. HOSA is really an opportunity for all the students to go and further their education in the medical field and just a way to try to win scholarships and compete in competitions. HOSA is preparing for an upcoming competition February 16th. Stay tuned. No, you missed, but let's hope Tupelo brings their A game tonight against Oxford. Let's pass it over to Paris and Abigail to see what some of the players have to say. Thanks, Summer and Liza. I'm Paris Lehman. And I'm Abigail Henderson. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to this week's edition of Sports Media. This week, the basketball team is stealing the spotlight as they prepare for their game against Oxford. What is the team doing this week to prepare for the game against Oxford? Uh, well, first of all, we, we won by one point at Oxford, so we know we got a tough battle. Uh, we're going to have to do a better job defending this week, uh, working on our defensive plan. Well, the first uh, thing we'll do, we'll go back and we'll watch the tape of the last Oxford game. And we'll probably even watch some tape from Oxford game from last year, just to gather as much information about how they play. Both teams have been working hard as the season starts to heat up. The girls have been training hard in the gym. They focused on weights and conditioning during preseason. Now they are ready to jump into the rest of the season. The boys are looking for another win. They have been practicing hard in the gym every day, focusing on team growth as the season is coming to an end. Josh Mitchell and Shamaya Carruthers were selected for the 4-5-6-A North Junior All-Star team. They are recognized throughout the season for their hard work. How does it feel to get recognized as a Junior All-Star and what does it mean for the team? Um, it's just how much work I put in. And for the team, it's like building our chemistry back on the floor. Well, it's an honor and I can't wait to turn off a Tupelo. Thanks, Shemaya and Josh. Don't forget to come out and support your Golden Wave basketball teams at 4, 5, 6, and 7.30 as they take on Oxford. Every week we're taking a look behind the scenes. Let's go meet some of the staff. What is your role in WTHS? My role in WTHS is to teach the new students the basics of editing, filming, and being in front of the camera. What is your order at Chick-fil-A? 
My order at Chick-fil-A is the eight count nugget meal with fries and a sweet tea. What is your role mainly in WTHS? Right now, it's just learning everything because I'm new to me and there are a bunch of veterans in there that know how to do it and they're doing it so easily and I'm just, I don't even know yet. <laughs> what are you hoping to learn this year? Uh, I want to know how to edit and make graphics mostly. Alright, so I'm gonna be graduating next year and we got some big shoes to fill with. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's not how it works. I don't even know why I need these glasses. Not even real. I thought I did a pretty good job in the boom mic, but I guess not. There's so many girls in the classroom. It kind of scares me. Honestly, like, I have the biggest crush on Will. Kat's my favorite thing, and she's, like, better friends with him and, like, likes him more than me. But, okay, I've known him a lot longer than she has. Will's mine. Like, Massey really needs to back off. Like, she's going to have a big problem with me soon if she doesn't chill out. Like, I saw her making eyes at him the other day. <laughs> I almost busted through that window. Things have been really awkward between Aerith and Bryant since they broke up, and nobody really knows why. Maybe it's because of that obsession with the microphone. I used to date the boom mic boy, but he brought his boom mic on every date, and it made me super uncomfortable, so I just I had it ended. <sighs> I hate how Massey gets her mom to buy her a pack of sliced apples with caramel, but doesn't eat the skin on the apples or the caramel. Like, why would you get your mom to buy you that whole thing if you're gonna leave out the best part? Ugh, she's so extra, I swear. And then when I confronted her about it, she tried to come at me. Like, why are you looking at me weird? You're the one with the problem. Everybody in this class argues, except for us. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Lab. Hey all you couples out there, did you know you could serenade your loved ones for Valentine's Day? Stay tuned for next week's show to see how that turned out. <laughs>